Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today it's going to be true and royal. Here on a ZVT on Vermeer for you today, it's going to be yet another RJB replay, but you probably already knew that. Top right, it's going to be true, also known as Alone, also known as BTS. Man, some of these players just cannot stick to a name, can they? And in the bottom right, it's going to be Royal, recent ASL champion. All right, so True's been playing StarCraft 2 and Brood War pretty much on and off for like a long time now, maybe 15, 20 years. He did win a premier tournament in StarCraft 2 back in 2016, the WCS Summer Circuit Championship, going 4-1 over Pult. If you know StarCraft 2, you know Pult, and that was an impressive, impressive display. So, here he is in a Brood War, facing off against Royal. Again, this is going to be a RJB DEFCON 1 replay. So, let's go ahead and see why this is going to be a DEFCON 1 replay. Here on this four-player map, Vermeer. Oh, this reminds me. <laughs> so, I was watching some Day 9, uh, talking to some Brood War, just doing some, uh, some snow content. Really enjoyed that. I think some hero content, too. But, uh... It was really funny because he was really convinced that Polypoid was called Neo Sylphid and that Neo Sylphid was Polypoid. I don't know why. I don't know why he was. But he loaded up a game on Polypoid and he called it Neo Sylphid. And his chat was like, ah, dude. There goes the hatch first. Uh, no. He would not believe them. He, w he wouldn't believe them. I imagine his chat gets pretty trolly. Like, if you're big enough, and Day9 is huge in the StarCraft scene, well, just in the e-gaming, like, esports gaming scene in general. I guess he hasn't been doing StarCraft in a long time, but he's back now. Anyway, he just, he had to Google it. He had to, like, pull it up on a different monitor and be like, mm-hmm, Pony Floyd, Neo Sylphid. Oh! Wow, okay. <laughs> he was just stunned. And I was like, how? Neo Sylphid's been in the map pool forever. But I guess if he's been doing a little bit of a boycott of Blizzard products uh, for a long time, I guess since Bobby Kotick was the CEO, and now that Kotick is gone and he's back into it, I guess. I don't know. It was just a weird, weird moment from somebody who knows way more about StarCraft than I ever will, you know? It's like, well, at least I know what Neo Sylphid is. <laughs> Anyway, Overlord did scout the right way. Nice job, Terry. Terry, the Overlord merch available at falconpaladin.store. There it goes. Oh, we're lifting. Interesting. Repositioning the barracks. He was worried about an early pool play here out of true. No big deal, though. 100 first hunter gas going to a lair. Some lings are on the way. There, Yes, there are going to be some lings, but they are slow. So no real aggression here out of true in the first couple of minutes of this game, which is totally fine with Royal. Dealing with an aggressive Zerg player can be annoying, but, you know, for somebody as good as he is, really not that big of a deal. Right, right. So, making Marines, what's he going to do with the rest of his production here? Well, he's going to throw up another barracks. So, the fact that we have a second barracks and no gas until, like, the three and a half minute mark, that indicates it's probably not going to be a mech opening for sure. Not even worried about it. Made more than the requisite lings, though. This is interesting. So we're going to make more than the two or four Zerglings. Not give them the speed upgrade. No metabolic boost for these guys. And then try to, like, get, I guess, get something done. But, yeah. SCV body block. Marines getting huge hits off. Yeah. And every Zergling's going to die. Two SCVs died. Like, eight, I don't know, eight to ten Zerglings died there. That was just... I don't like it. I really don't like that from True at all. And he's just getting a spire behind it. Pretty normal timing. Academy coming in from Royal. Yeah. I, if, I don't, that did not get enough done. <laughs> anyway... Let's see. Anything nuts happening in this game? No. This is a standard ZVT, with the exception of that eight slowling attempted run by, which is like, what is happening? Overlord pokes in, tries to see. He did see how many Marines were back there and said, okay, this is not some we're going to make vultures and come try to kill you thing at all. This is not a super fast third base either. That Marine count was hefty. They're planning on moving out. Yep, medics popping out. Didn't see the medics, but saw the Marine count and therefore knows what this is. 
So it already has a creep up, which may be a little bit earlier than you need it. Honestly, probably earlier than you need it. You've got the Overlord perched, right? So you see the Marines start moving out. That's the time to throw down Creep Colony, or two, or three, depending on how big the move out is. And then from there, you can figure stuff. But yeah, having Creep Colony now... I guess part of the other problem is there wasn't a Supply Depot at the wall. And that's an indication that it's a Vulture play. So a bit of a mind trick here out of Royal. But what's funny is somebody... I don't know. I had somebody tell me that. Like, maybe for the first time last week, they said, if there's a supply depot in the wall, then it's Marines, because they need the help. But if there's not a supply depot in the wall at the natural base, then a Vulture's coming out, because the Vulture can kill infinite slow wings, right? And I was like, oh, okay, cool. But now this is twice I've cast some CVTs where there's no supply depot in the wall, and there's no Vulture. So, <laughs> it's not a guarantee, I guess. Turrets are coming up because the Mutalisks are on the way. dun da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 Yeah, Muta Harass, everyone's favorite thing in all of StarCraft. Worker count, 28 from Royal. Making SCBs during all of the chaos. Four turrets here, though. Wow, okay. I mean, he did scan the second gas. He knew this wasn't just a tiny number of mutalisks. This was a bunch. And he's right. There's three more mutas on the way and a carapace upgrade coming in. So, yeah. Extra turrets, you know what? Incredible. Really, really good. Mutalisk died. Some injured mutalisks here, too. It's another scan. Sees the three sunkens, because the marines and medics are moving out, but now they're coming home because... Ow, ow, ow. Yes. No! No, 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 no. That's not how you use mutalisks. You know that, true. That was just a little bit sloppy, man. You cannot dive on top of a group like this. Mutas are not intended for direct engagements unless they can crush. If there are two marines here, yeah, directly engage. But if there are, you know, 12 marines here with stim and the range upgrade and medic support, you A move on to this with your 10 mutas, of which three are injured, you lose the game. It's just the nature of stim and marines and medics and they're just good. So they can three volley down the turrets here inside the main base. And there we go, that was a fight you can stand and take. SCV count, not hot. 28 SCVs now. Several have gone down to these Mutalists. They've done a pretty good job. Third base coming up top left. The Mutas are here. They need to be active. They need to keep Royal down this way as much as they can. He's like, come on, Carapace Upgrade. I paid for you. Let's go. Yeah, leaving the wounded Mutalists out. Maybe wait for like 10 seconds for this Carapace Upgrade to finish. There you go. Carapace Upgrade is finished. He keeps swapping out injured Mutas. I mean, 47 HP is not great for a Muta. Maybe we still don't want to attack missile turrets, but we're a little bit better against marines. Ah, queen's nest, yes. Scanned in, saw the queen's nest, uh, saw the hydra den, didn't see the queen's nest, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Factory perched over a missile turret, so it can't be directly targeted by the mutalisks. Pretty sick move. One of my favorite things Terrans can do. Annoying to deal with, certainly, yes, but that's a queen's nest before lurker aspect. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Eleven mutalisks. Some of them are injured. Hive on the way. Yeah. I mean, this is not a Zerg player who thinks he can win with mutalisks, which I think every Zerg player appreciates at this stage of the game, because this is pretty well defended by Royal. Carapus upgrade is just so, 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 so useful for these guys. Really reduces that incoming damage to something that's just a little tiny bit more manageable for them, Mutalisk. Scourge on the way. Ground Carapace coming in. More scans. Sees the Queen's Nest. Probably has scanned the Hive at some point when I wasn't listening for a scan. Yeah, and this, this is just... Keeping the Marines at home so this third base doesn't die, because if the third base dies, you're a dead Zerg player. We've seen games that end that way. 
on the channel many, many a time. These mutas are just here in hospice. They are regenerating their health extremely slowly. It's not insanely slowly, but you know, not great either. There's an ability in StarCraft 2 called Tissue Regeneration, where if the mutas are out of combat, they regen health really quickly. Which is nice. For a while there, we saw Zerg players do a lot of it, but then they were like, wow, but if the mutas are out of combat, they're not doing anything, and I don't like that very much. So then we stopped seeing it as much. <laughs> like, is this defended? Ah, Lurker Egg's on the ramp. Good scan. Great scan by Royal. He's like, well, that's not a good place to go. I don't have any science vessels yet. There is a Valkyrie out, though. Big fan of the Valkyries in this matchup. I don't have a starport yet, let alone have a science vessel yet. That's going to be a long time away. Oh, these guys in hospice. we got to get out of here. They're still not quite recovered. All right. So the Scourger to deal with the Valk. Oh, my gosh. The Muta's died. No. That was not a good engagement from True. He just dive bombed to get that Valkyrie in the midst of a whole bunch of Marines with 1-1 one, one Stim range, medic support, all the bad things. Mutas don't like that stuff at all. Mm, I like it for the Zerg player to be getting consumed at about the same time the control tower is on the way. Well, there's a science vessel on the way. Oh, that was not the first starport, was it? No, it's over here. Ah, -ha -ha. never mind. Getting consumed at the same time the first science vessels are on the way is pretty good. Radiate just getting started or irradiate. Although, I guess... Irradiate and Radiate, pretty much the same thing. Nice beta on those skirts, by the way. Kind of like flammable and inflammable. Both mean flammable because English is really stupid sometimes. Radiate and Radiate mean the same thing. Dumb. The rules are dumb. All right, third base under construction here on location from Royal. It does have a gas, which is nice on this map. Some third bases on certain maps don't have the gas, and that's not fun. This Valkyrie wants to die. No, it doesn't. It's just scouting. It's being very careful, Falcon. Do not worry. Do not worry about me. Plague on the way. Adrenal coming in, too. And just two groups of SK Terran out on the map. That was funny. Who was I watching? Rush versus Hero? I think on ASL. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to say that Artosis made the comment that a Zerg player, once they get onto four bases and they've got Ultras and Dark Swarm and Plague and stuff, they're just unbeatable. And I was like, look, man, maybe for you it is. <laughs> But I've cast plenty of games where an SK Terran player manages to get it done because why? They keep their science vessels alive. That's the key. If you don't keep your science vessels alive and you're not irradiating every single Ultralisk and Defiler you see constantly, yeah, you know what? A four basing Zerg player with access to all their tier three stuff is probably impossible for an SK Terraning Terran to defeat. But the science vessels are the key to this whole darn thing. Plague? Plague? Not bad. Not a bad plague. Really good plague, actually. About five or six marines got caught there. They're going to fall back. A bit of a contain here at the natural base. But the fourth base is coming up. So, it really is very simplistic to boil this down to how many science vessels do you have? Win, lose. As the fourth base comes in, you still have to be macroing. You still have to expand. You still have to be active. You still have to kill scourge. They come to kill your science vessels. It's not just having a bunch of science vessels, right? Oh, Valkyrie out! See you later, Valkyrie. Another scan. He's able to see there are two lurkers here. That's, I mean, that's entirely bustable. Two lurkers stacked up? That's not even three. Three's kind of the normal number. Ugh, Dark Swarm Ling bust out. No! Royal wasn't paying attention to that. And then, ah, tries to get in Dark Swarm and a plague on the counter. That was awesome. That was really great. Man, this is incredible stuff. I like what we're seeing here from True. His Ultralisk Cavern is popping. I mean, all the things that Royal needs are here. Marines, medics, maybe start adding some more fire bats and they are in production. That's a physics lab. Oh, it's the Battle Cruisers. It's the Battle Cruiser curse on display. No. What is that? What is that? Come on, True. You send two Scourge at Science Vessels that have a line of Marines just guarding them? 
ridiculous. Look, and the other thing is, just because the Zerg player is on four bases, and hey, they're good, doesn't mean they don't want a fifth. Doesn't mean they don't want a sixth and a seventh and an eighth. It makes it a lot easier. Income is king in this game. You can have all the right stuff, but if your income is a fourth of what your enemies is, you're probably going to lose. So again, ton of caveats to what I'm saying here, but... And what Artosis said, but he didn't give any caveats. In fairness, I don't know. Maybe he felt like he didn't have to. Fire bats in the swarm. Yeah, there we go. See? The Marines are like, oh my gosh, that plague. Okay. Who's plaguing is maybe some of the best I have seen in 2024. Oh my gosh. Fire bats are great. Adrenalings with 1 2 upgrades also very great. Marines are at 2 1. Fire bats have the same upgrades, and the battle cruisers are being produced with a ship weapons upgrade being invested into these guys. So, look, battle cruiser curse does not mean you can't win if you make battle cruisers. The curse means your win rate against her goes to about 10%, maybe less than 10%. Are there games where they have won? Yes. Are there way more games where they've lost than they've won? Also, yes. It's like trying to go spawn Brooding in Queens versus Mecking Terran. Does it work sometimes? Mm-hmm. Does it work most of the time? No. It loses most of the time. So, uh-uh. That's an amazing scan, by the way. <laughs> Royal. He catches that drone coming up. He's not going to get it. Does he want to let it finish and then he'll kill it? Plague! -oo! Sick plague. He's more oh, and then drag. No! And then the Marines are like, we're under attack, go. And then they get dragged into some lurker. Dude, Royal is not doing a great job paying attention to everything that's going on. It's hard. I get it. It's not easy. But that's the second time he's just had some Marines kind of holding still over here on this side of the map. And holding still means you get dark swarmed and then Zerglings come and smash your face. I'm real. He Did he not see that drone? I don't know if Royal saw that drone, you guys. Another plague. Oh my gosh, the plague. And then not overextending. <laughs> okay, seriously though. Seriously though, true's plagues today. We're only at 17 minutes. This game is not over, and I feel like this is the best plagues I've ever seen. At least, again, recently. Good bunkers. That is something that Tastos has talked about was in ZVTs where you're winning as the Terran, but then you just didn't build a bunker at one of your third or your fourth base, maybe, and then it gets killed because six slings showed up. There go! Oh my gosh. This has just been... So plague heavy. And, okay, I love this. In response, Royal's researching restoration. He's also getting Yamato. And honestly, you might as well if you're making these battle cruisers. So, what are the battle cruisers going to do? That's always the question. Are they going to be part of the army? Are they going to go off on their own little solo adventures or duo adventures with other battle cruisers? That's not the right way to use them, in my opinion, but sometimes it can work out. Sometimes it can be really good. My gosh, these. Royal's got to be like, what is this? What is this witchcraft? That's a plagued fire bat. He's still alive, despite taking smacks to the face from a crackling. It's that armor, man. It's that armor. Okay, so it's a four battle cruiser fleet. And if they get plagued, restoration is done. All right, hold on. There's the restoration sound. Oh my god. How did that Scourge get a science vessel? That's illegal. He clumps up the battle cruisers. They all get plagued. He falls over to this right side. The medics come forward and say, Friend, let us help you. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty animation, too. Somebody put in a lot of work to create the restoration animation, and it never gets used. I'm glad we got it today. And this is where true's like wait i plagued those battle cruisers why are they so healthy and he's like wait a second what's happening here see he irradiates the ultras like a boss oh, okay losing science ow okay another plague but okay royal you monster 
Yeah. Ultralisk's not in su with support of Dark Swarm at all. Not going to have a good time. The Double Plagues, Restoration, go. Ah, now they're here to help against the links of the Ultras instead of being dead. Isn't this so nice? Dude, Royal, I am in awe right now. The Restoration Battle Cruiser stuff. Yeah. So if you use the Battle Cruisers with Restoration, suddenly they get about 40% more effective. These Scourge. Okay, they took out one of the BCs. One of them finally died. But I mean, 8 kills, 8 kills, 9 kills, 11 kills. And True just said, just overwhelm them. Who cares as three of the battle cruisers go down? We'll bring more Scourge, but that's more Scourge you had to make that you didn't have to make if these battle cruisers were already dead. Oh, that Hyder oh, gets Dark Swarm up just in time. Very injured. Six HP on that dude. My goodness. These links running up the shrimp could shut this down. There's only one Firebat in the neighborhood. And Royal's holding. I'm going to give him a holding status here. Almost saved that ultra. He's got nine kills. This base dying is a humongous deal. Nice plague. Once again, ultras outside of Dark Swarm against plus three marines with stim. Don't, don't always trade all that well. So again, just having ultralisks, just having Dark Swarm does not guarantee you a victory. I'm sure there are some players on ladder who are like, well, I made Dark Swarm and I made ultras. Why don't I just win? And it's like, well, a lot of it's about positioning. A lot of it's about your macro. Did you get one ultra out and your enemy had 47 marines with plus three attack? It's not going to work, right? Are you putting dark swarms down on enemy bases? Are you putting dark swarms down in the middle of the map? Are you using them defensively? All these things matter. Once you start seeing a Terran dealing with Dark Swarms on top of your bases in multiple places at once, the Terran's falling apart. That is just the nature of the game. Even supply here is not amazing, I don't think, for true. 50 workers not quite where you want to be. This little fire bat marine medic set up here to clear out the Zerg infestation in the bottom left. I don't know why they're a Scourge here, but they're dead now, so it doesn't really matter. Lurk, lurk. Oh my gosh. There's another plague somewhere. Did it catch those marines and they all died? That's the sound of a defiler dying. Nice, nice restoration on those science vessels. Oh, maybe they got plague. Maybe that's what happens. Oh. Yeah, all right. So Ling Ultra to counter this whole thing. Then a battle cruiser Yamato's the Ultra. Poof. And gonna win that battle thanks to the battle cruiser run run ultralisk oh this oh my gosh the battle cruiser is not attacking this very injured ultralisk because again royal's trying to do about four things at once here oh it's like we well, can't restore scourge oh they did get that finally got that ultralisk nine kills on this bc is nothing to stick, stick at the plague again on these science vessels. More radiates, please. Please, more radiates. Or radiates. Restorations. More radiates are forthcoming. Right there and right there. And the third defiler. Got him. Got the third defiler. Sick. Oh, and these drones are walking through this irradiated... Oh, that egg, interestingly enough. You irradiated an egg? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't we learn a while ago that if you irradiate an egg and it pops while it's irradiated, the units come out irradiated? Can't remember. Oh, left side base by True. No. Just open air engagement, no plagues, no dark swarms, lings and ultras for days, but then more guys showing up here from the bottom right of production. And the macro here of Royal is really on fire right now. Three more battle cruisers being added to the mix. This game is bonkers. This game is bonkers. These guys still holding bottom left. Royal hasn't been able to expand for a while. 
And this 12 o'clock here from True, plus this other base is replanted. So True's economy, not where it needs to be to hang in this game, but uh, this base is going to die again, maybe? Nope, Ultras and Lings on the response. Try to shut this thing down. Spore getting hits off on the Battle Cruiser will kill it after about 87 hits, but the 12 o'clock base of True goes down. One, two, three, four, five drones die. 52 workers left for True here. Not good. Not a great worker count when you're about even against a Terran player. Wake up. Yamato snipes an Ultralisk on the other side of it. Medics, where are you? Not a lot of energy. The thing is, if you're doing constant healing against Plague Marines and you're trying to cast Restoration a lot, sometimes you don't have enough energy to do both, which is one of the reasons we don't see Restoration very much. Getting up on this drone count. Firebatten those drones. Brutal, brutal experience. Ling's coming in trying to save the day. These Marines are like, we know we're dead, but we should focus. Nothing. Not focus firing anything. Ultra's running out of the Dark Swarm. Marines are like, I guess we'll shoot at them. We can't kill. Oh, man. Like, one of the Ultras went down. That's about it. Oh, Ultras got down, and oh my gosh, Ultras got down in this fourth base of Royal and forced a full evac. It turns out three Ultras against two bunkers. Gonna do okay. Yeah, these science vessels are not happy. Oh, sick plague. True's plagues today. Just incredible. More battle cruisers join in this party. Who needs restoration when you can just make more BCs? This is massive for Royal, though. Is this like his only source of income? <laughs> Skirt, take out a battle cruiser. Could have got this one too, but couldn't get close enough to hit him. This game is crazy. 124 to 102 supply here. Royal is up, but his income is not. He's got nothing left for income. Zerg player still rolling on two bases here. And this one technically, except there's no income happening. These drones are in trouble. So Royal's going to reestablish his fourth base. Try to do it. That firebat gives his life. Oh my gosh, a lot of firebats. They got it. One of those firebats is responsible for that kill. He's very proud, I'm sure. Another plague on the battle cruisers. Where is the restoration now, says True. Yeah, I... Mm, uh, Scourge is hunting in packs. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right. Um, that... Feels like a game ending move there. Those battle cruisers were crushed. Fourth base from Royal is back, but the Zerg player on three bases now. 51 to 39 workers, 39 drones. It's just 51 SCVs effectively on one base mining isn't that good. <laughs> so he's going to try to slip down here and maybe take a base on this low ground. High ground against Ling Ultra is going to be a lot better. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes the time to float the CC over there, but at the same time, maybe he doesn't have... He doesn't want to wait that long. He needs it. Yeah, Ling's come down and says, is there a base here? Almost. Good scout. Good scout by True. Certainly, yes. 115 to 107 supply. True is up. He's replacing his worker count a little bit. The Irradiates are catching Ultralisks, catching Defilers, and see how these two units together... Somebody... Yeah, I made the claim last week in a cast that two Ultralisks who are both irradiated who are right next to each other take additional splash radiated damage, and somebody tried to say that was wrong, but nope! Liquipedia says if there are two units right next to each other and they're both irradiated, they're taking the direct irradiate damage, but also the splash damage is hurting the other one. All right, Royal. Trying to make a move up here as True is trying to take a base down this left side at the 9 o'clock position. Does shut that down. Oh, no! Did he accidentally dematrix that Ultralisk? Ooh! <laughs> or is that for meme? What the heck was that? He dematrixed that Ultra. And now, he, I don't know without the dematrix, if he's able to do that. This game is the weirdest. One of the craziest games I've seen. Restoration, a dematrixed Ultralisk. This guy is still going to town to Ulysses down here. He's got six kills. He's shutting this down. Royal has managed to take this base. So this isn't a, like, end-all, be-all here. D-Matrix science vessels at the front. I don't know. They're just worried about getting plagued, I guess. The firebat count is too heavy to deal with three Ultralisks. If, especially if we've been plagued. 
do. True is up 133 to 119 supply. He's got 47 workers to 51 SCVs. Uh oh. Remember how I was going to say bases that don't have bunkers at them are going to struggle? That's the one. But Royal's up on the other side trying to shut down this. I don't even know what this is. Like a, a, a 1130 base. Okay, so this newest source of income for Royal is dead. This, uh, no, just no. Just fire bats against ultras, not good. Not even close to good. Oh. The one mutilus trying to catch irradiated science vessels, not lifting the command center. Seems like an issue. This is so scraptastic, but I think True has it. I'm telling you guys, battle cruisers. I'm not saying they never win, but this is the result more often than not. Yeah, Ultralisk gets down here. Royal's income. He's got 26 minerals in the bank. Even if he kills, oh, he did shut this down and he did kill this, but nope. Royal had no money left. GG and True gets the win against the battle cruisering. Restoration researching display of Royal. That was a very fun game. Like a really, really fun ZVT. Uh, the number of plagues cast in this game in 30 minutes might have been the highest number of plagues per minute that I have seen on the channel in a very long time. True got plague out and just used it constantly. Used it constantly. Something like, I don't know, what, 40 defilers probably died in this game? Maybe more than that. It feels right around there is about right, but... My goodness! What an insane... Insane display of how to play TBZ here from True. Taking down ASL champ Royal. Do we need to watch out for this guy? Do we need... To see True, True's won about 300 bucks playing Brood War over the years. So he doesn't have many amazing results, but this was a great game from him. Do we want to put some of the blame on the Royal for going Battle Cruisers in a TVZ? It's something that doesn't work all that much. I mean, I like the addition of Restoration, obviously. I liked having four Battle Cruisers instead of just two. And the Restoration was sick, but as I mentioned... Eventually, the medics are just out of energy because they're constantly healing up your plague marines and other medics and fire bats and casting restoration on stuff. And that's not cheap. None of this is cheap. And then suddenly, they don't have enough energy for anything. And they're all out of energy. And all out of energy medics are good for nothing because they don't have a basic attack or anything. So, yeah, that's just why we don't see restoration as much for those who always wonder. Oh, this group of medics, yeah, just can't defend themselves against an ultra -lisk. And two Zerglings. 13 kill ultra there, by the way. But yeah, nip and tuck. I mean, this base was dead. This base died. Should have died twice. This base was canceled. It's not like True was on fire. He lost this weight. Was there a base here? I feel like there was a base here. What happened to this base? Time for the rewind. Let's find out. But yeah, hit that like button. Subscribe, man, if you enjoyed this match. Oof. It was a barn burner, to be sure. Last week wasn't great for Zergs. So it's kind of good to see a game that is great for Zergs. Finally. Uh, hmm. Okay, this base died a long time ago. Is this not... Wait. This is not even far enough back. The rewind is fast, but maybe not that fast. I like how there are Lurkers and Lings and Scourge here. I don't think there was a drop attempt at any point. Okay, this base was here for about a nanosecond, I think. I like that True is ready for drops, though. I'm not going to tell him not to be ready for drops. Oh, all right, fine. It just it got canceled. How about we just say that? And this base dies, and it's a rampage from Royal, but then everything goes back from there. And the plagues keep coming in. They don't stop coming. There's a restoration. Okay, so he does get restoration on the BCs, but this one's already... Uh, it's injured enough that Scourge is going to be super dangerous. And then this is really what killed Royal. It's not that this attack failed. If this attack failed, and he still had this base and this one, things would be different. 
Okay, and then... Radiate on the Ultra. Oh, man. They both died to irradiate. This guy had 40 HP. Okay, so it's not this one. Right. It's somewhere. Right. The battle cruisers all died. That was a significant investment. Trying to take this base so desperately. Ling scout it, and that's not good for Royal when that happens. And it does have just about a minute here of happy mining. And this one's okay, too. And the D there's the D-Matrix on that Ultra List, which allows him to kill the bunker and the four Marines inside and take down a ComSat station. Not bad, man. And then this is a really scary attack, but both of his bases that have any income are dying. And all Royal, or all True really has to do is defend up this way for some time. Just a little bit of time here, and then Royal's gonna run out of steam, and then he'll GG out. So, amazing. What a great game. Woo! End of the day, 229,000 points to 261,000 points there. True won it. He outproduced the Terran player by about a two to one ratio, and yeah, this kill death ratio for Royal is actually one of the worst ones I've seen in a while. Holy smokes. That's weird. All right, 13 to 9 buildings raised. True had more of those. And outspent was Royal here by about 7,000 resources in 31 minutes. Not incredible, but also not bad. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, it wasn't like a... It wasn't a crushing here anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was a close win. And when the resources look like this, it's a close win. All right, so that's a GG. And that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs>